Hello my dear students, this is your teacher Maida Bukhari and I am connected to you through BSU where learning is uninterrupted. In current pandemic situation where education pattern has changed all over the world, we feel proud to say that uh, Beacon IRS are digitally literate already. They know how to access their teachers, resources and assignments online and their responses are excellent. We have two horses, one without wheels and other with wheels. Now we are going to try and see that which is the easier is the easiest to move. Now let's try this this one. Of course, the horse with wheels is easier because. sound because of friction. We can reduce friction by applying oil on the hinge. And when I pour oil in it, it helps to reduce friction. Hinges are making quick sounds because of friction when door hinges are rusty. To reduce it, we can apply lubricate oil like WD-40 or any other oil to reduce friction. So, this is a car. It has four wheels. It is reducing friction and it is moving one place to another place very easily. Now, we can see that the wheels are helping in balancing the load and moving the track smoothly. So, from this we learn that the wheels and smooth surfaces help in reducing friction. I am moving this tumble. As you see that the smooth surface went very fast than the rough surface. So it is easier to drag a bag when it goes light because the weight of an object affects friction. The greater the weight, the greater the friction. Our today's lesson has a connection with the topic you have learned in previous term about air. Air has mass and occupies space. It also causes a pressure in surrounding atmosphere. Try harder. Miss, I am trying to push it but it is not compressing. The experiments you have done in previous lesson will help you to understand today's task. In today's lesson, you will learn about air resistance and how you can increase or decrease it. Air pressure is present all around us, but we cannot see this. This air pressure causes the air resistance. The air resistance, also known as drag. Drag force is a type of friction which pushes the moving object back when they move through air. Wind is moving air. We are surrounded by air that is made up of invisible gases. However, a streamlined shape helps reduce air resistance. The faster cars and aeroplanes have streamlined shapes. We can observe the air resistance on vehicles this way. The faster the object moves, the greater the air resistance exerted against it. Large and flat surfaces generate more air resistance than thin pointy objects. That is the reason fast moving vehicles are built with thin shapes to cut easily through air resistance. Some birds know, Some birds know this phenomena. This is the reason they fly in V-shaped formation to reduce air resistance. Cyclists wear skin suits and helmets with a streamlined shape. They also bend down low instead of sitting upright to reduce air resistance. This allows them to move faster. Now let's learn how surface area affects air resistance. Sometimes, instead of reducing air resistance, we want to increase it to slow down the motion. 
an object falls to the ground because of gravity. Someone jumping out of an airplane in mid-air will fall with great speed to the ground. A parachute can slow down his fall and help him land safe. A parachute slows the skydiver down because it causes air resistance. The air pushes the parachute back up and creates a force opposite to the force of gravity slowing the skydiver down. The size of a parachute affects its falling speed. The large surface area of a parachute helps slow down its fall to the ground while a parachute with a small surface area will drop quicker on ground than the larger one.